Praise the mighty Jesus Christ. We are grateful unto God for great things God has done for the completion of this um, empowerment retreat. I was so excited today when I was listening to the message of our dad, the pastor, to the bedroom. I was just so much, so, so excited because it was like a confirmation, a continuation of the message that the Lord spoke to us yesterday. And I give glory to God. I thank the Lord for the power of God that came out of that message. There was serious emphasis. So I wanted to just say to every one of us by the help of the Holy Spirit, that the Lord spoke to us yesterday about anointing for increase. And this was the same emphasis that the Lord brought. And today the Lord was repeating the same thing about, about, about giving, about sowing and planting. I just I want to say that this is a this is a, this is an emphasis from the Holy Spirit. And we should not take this for granted at all. If the Lord said this yesterday, emphatically, and the Lord repeat it again today, two true main messages out of three, it means the Holy Spirit wants us to understand this. So therefore, I want us to take note of this. I want us to look at John chapter 21. I will read from verse four. But when the morning was now come, Jesus stood on the shore, but the disciples knew not that it was Jesus. Then Jesus Christ said unto them, children, have you any meat? They answered him, no. And he said unto them, Cast the net on the right side of the ship, and ye shall find. They cast therefore, and now they were not able to draw it for multitude of fishes. Now the prayer we want to pray, that I want to pray and pronounce in the name of the Lord upon every one of us today, in form of prophetic declaration, is in this passage I've just read. We could see that the disciples labored all night, and caught no fish. Their, they, their labor produced no food for them until the Lord Jesus Christ told them to cast the net on the right side. And when they did so, they enclosed a large multitude of fishes. So therefore, I am praying for every one of us today, ahead of, ahead of 2021, and I'm praying and I declare that in 2021, in the year 2021, you will labor and harvest in abundance in the mighty name of Jesus. Our own case shall not be like these disciples that labored all night and caught nothing. Our whole night has gone. Our time of labor has gone. I declare unto you that we are entering into a new dawn because it was early in the morning that Jesus came to them and told them to cast the net on the right side. Our night has gone. We enter into a new day, and Jesus is declaring unto us to cast our net on the right side. Henceforth, throughout 2021, throughout, throughout this coming year, you will cast your net on the right side. You will not cast your net on the wrong side, but on the right side, and you will enclose abundant fishes you will have in abundance. Your labor will produce fruit. Your labor will produce harvest. Your city will produce harvest. You will not labor in vain in the mighty name of Jesus. Your effort will produce massive reward. We are entering into a new morning, a new dawn. Our night is gone. We enter into a new day. Jesus is appearing and is asking us and is commanding and is instructing us 
and is giving us new direction. And as we as we use result in the mighty name of Jesus, not in anything. Our night is gone. Your labor will not produce fruit in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Your labor will produce abundance. Your labor will produce result in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. They cast their net on the right side of the sheep and caught fishes in abundance. We are entering into a new year. We are entering into a year where we will need all necessary divine direction to survive. And part of the direction is what you have been receiving in the message. Yesterday, the Lord laid emphasis on seeding, massive seeding, incredible sowing, in order to receive incredible enlargement and increase. Today, the Lord is speaking to us again about astonishing increase and giving us that secret of sowing again. We cannot take the word of God for granted. The Lord has spoken to us twice now. In three days, he emphasized twice. What else do we want? We should not take this for granted. And therefore, I am praying for every one of us here today, in the mighty name of Jesus, as we receive this direction, we shall enjoy divine abundance in the mighty name of Jesus. You shall always cast your net on the right side. You will not cast your net on the wrong side. You will labor the right labor, and your labor will produce result. You will not you will not labor on a wrong field. You will labor on the right field. You will put your net on the right side, and there shall be abundance. You shall continually make right decision in the mighty name of Jesus. You will not make wrong decision. You will do the right thing all the time. They guide you. And you always have results. You always know the way. You will not be confused. You will not be distracted. You will not be caged. You will not be stranded. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, you shall enjoy divine direction throughout, 20, throughout next year, 2021. You shall receive divine direction. You shall enjoy divine leading, divine guiding. The Lord will continually speak to you. You will have light in all your ways. There will be no darkness on your path in the the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord will bring you abundant provision in Jesus' name. And that passage, it says, and now when, when, when they cast their net on the right side and they were not able to draw it because of multitude of fishes, they were not able to draw it because of multitude of fishes. When they go to the right direction, when they go the right direction, they enter into their season of abundance. I pray that for you in the mighty name of Jesus, as, as you receive directions from the Holy Spirit, starting from now, God has been directing us right from this empowerment retreat, and we are enjoying that direction. We will not take it for granted. And as we go on, the Lord will continually guide us. And as we take to his instruction, we shall enter into our season of abundance in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. You will always identify the seed from the bread. You will always separate the seed from the bread in the name of Jesus. You will not eat the seed in the name of Jesus. The boldness, the courage to plant the seed, the courage, the, the courage and the boldness to plant the seed, you will have it in the name of Jesus. You will not eat the seed, you will plant the seed in the mighty name of Jesus. The courage to turn your bread to seed, may the Lord give to you in the name of Jesus, so that you enter into abundant season of harvest. In the mighty name of Jesus, it shall be well with you. The Lord shall go with you. This coming year shall be beautiful for us. The Lord has been speaking to us. He said, the year ahead is a stormy sea. The year ahead is a boisterous wind. And it is confirmed again by the word of God today. But the Lord is speaking to us that in the midst of the stormy sea, you can walk upon that stormy sea. You can move in the midst of the boisterous winds. When you learn how to sow, when you learn how to give what you have unto the hand of Jesus Christ, I therefore pray today that as we enter into the new year, you shall laugh. In the name of Jesus, you shall walk upon the stormy sea. In the name of Jesus, you shall walk in the midst of the boisterous winds. In the name of Jesus, the Lord shall give you courage. You shall sow your seed. You shall enter into your harvest. In the mighty name of Jesus, it shall be well with you. In the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. Amen.